Welcome, one and all, to a new Let's Play. This is me, Schlappenzender, with a game that cannot be played on a North American uh, native drive. So let's switch our country over to the only country this game was actually released in, Japan, and we'll soft reset. Whew, this is made by Sega. Rather, it was made by Weston. And it's Monster World 4, a game never released outside of Japan. Uh, we will start a new game. Estahan Point. Sorry if you didn't hear fizz, that's just my fan blowing because it's hot in here. But that's besides the point. This is Monster World 4. We are Asha. We are a tiny green haired girl. Here, a tiny green haired girl who's hearing things. Yes, we are a dreamer. Good to see you support us, Dad. At least I think that's your dad. Not entirely. It's not entirely clear. Although I would imagine he is your dad. But yes, we are Asha. We are a green-haired girl with a sword and a shield. So let's get to work. This is our house. At least I would assume it's our house. Just people want to give us stuff in here. Oh, well, yeah. Well, look at uh, yeah. Look at you. It's important you talk to everyone in this building, not particularly everyone in the village. Everyone in this house, though, wants to give you something. If you notice the test moves faster at some points, it's me hitting the button and it speeds forward. I have something for you. Please add it. Never forget us. That depends. What did you get me? It better be a let's or I'm forgetting you. You win this round. Alright. So, let's see. Alright, Grandma. What do you got for us? So, apparently it's like... Oh! You're just hearing things. Now do it on that quest to satiate the fact that you heard something. But these are important life drops. Get ten of them, get an extra heart. It's kind of like pieces of heart in Legend of Zelda. Start off with five. But what we really need is over here. This is something we need to actually progress in the game. The Gold Crystal. Now, you would not know that was there unless you talk to other people in the village. I just saved you the trouble. Pretty much, they'll tell you, you actually will get closer to where you actually need to go, and then they'll be like, oh, by the way, hope you have the doll crystal. But let's get out of here. We can run by double tapping either direction, but you move pretty fast on your own just by walking. It's much faster than it is in uh, the original, like, or if you've played Wonder Boy in Monster World, uh, which was released outside of Japan, uh, you're very, the movement's very slow in that game. So it's much faster by comparison, although it is a bit slidey. But only a little bit. Not too much. A bunch of whatever those are. Eating whatever that is. Who's this guy? Tell me who you are. World famous sage of documents and recordings. It's not very interesting. I, I would imagine a lot of people have never heard of you because you're the sage of documents and recordings. You're like a secretary. Well, the point is, he's just going to tell you, you or I can save your game. You need the doll crystal. 
and uh, see, you know, he's basically telling you you can save by talking to him. So, record your adventures? Yes. Now, you'll notice there's one save file with quite a few hearts and a, a good bit of money. Um, that is my non Let's Play save file. Yeah, you can stab up and stab down by pressing the respective direction and hitting the sword button in midair. It's a pretty nifty little technique and it is useful during a later boss fight. It's also particularly useful against enemies that you want to jump over but still kill. Now, enemies in this game, or some enemies in this game, will not damage you with collision damage. There are some that will, though. So, let's just keep on our way this way. Because we need to get to Mute Tower. That's what we have this Gall Crystal for. We just need one more. Yeah, that one will damage you because it's made of fire. Fire does kind of hurt. But it's okay, because we're almost to that nice magical 10. We just need to find one more. Now you'll notice whenever they so stop jiggling, that's when they're about to jump. Yeah, getting 10 doesn't reveal your pink hearts. Pink hearts are just comprised of your armor. And you can get better armor once you get to a certain place in the game. You can also get a better shield and a better sword so you do more damage and protect against better stuff. Be careful of those guys, because they release spores that hurt you. And I couldn't get away from those. Not in time. But it's okay, because they only ever drop hearts, and we're back to full again. This game, at the first part, not hard. No. But as it goes on, it can it has a like an intense difficulty spike. One that would make most modern games blush in this. And that's okay, because games should have a nice challenging spike. That's what makes games fun, really. It's why older games are more enjoyable than newer games. At least in my opinion. But that's not the point. Uh, okay, so we have one life drop, 102 goings. I would assume the currency is gold, since the G. Also, this theme you're hearing right now, prepare to hear it a lot. This is the main theme of the game. Oh good, I needed the mushroom. Okay. Uh, it appears not only here, but in another place. Well, it looks like we can't go any further this way. So let's use that doll crystal. Wait, and this doesn't really look like a tower. I mean, it's kind of more like a shrine or some thing. Yeah. Now it's looking more like a tower. So let's go in. All right. So here you are again. He basically says, this is going to be a good first test of strength, and you can't do that. Try it for a die! And so we do. Now, I'm going to cut it short here, because I did not keep track of time, like an incompetent fool. So next time on Let's Play Monster World 4, Mute Tower.